smiling robot. <laughs> We have a weekend today. Let's go out to the city, Handy Andy. Great idea, Emmy. Let's go to the supermarket and buy everything we need for a picnic. Look, Razor and Rocco came to the plant. Let's hide and watch what they're going to do. They are talking about something, but we cannot hear anything. I can't understand why Boss needs to cause an accident on this plant. I don't know. Why would you care, Razor? We need to cause an explosion and take our money. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> they ran to the plant. I don't like it. They are planning something, Handy Andy. We need to come closer to the plant and check what they're going to do. Help! Help! Call the police, fast! What's going on here? Somebody installed a bomb in the main pipe of our plant. The protective filter was damaged by an explosion, and now poisonous smoke is going to the city. We are all in big danger. The acid rain can start. Acid rain. It's a kind of rain or other fallout. Rain, snow, hailstones, fog, rain, and snow together. That can start because of pollution in the air. Usually the pollution can be by the sulfur oxides and nitrogen oxides, harmful emissions from plants and production. In order to stop this emission from going to the air, plants should install special protective filters on their pipes. I'm sure that Razor and Rocco caused the accident in the plant. Emmy, call the police and firefighters fast. I'm going to help the worker to install a new filter into the pipe. We have to rescue the city. Hello, it's Emmy. Send the firefighters to the plant fast. Razor and Rocco exploded the protective filter on the plant's pipe. The whole city is going to be in smoke. And acid rain is going to start soon. I'll send the firefighters to the plant right now. Emmy, tell me please, where did the bandits go? The bandits escaped. Oh, it's clear. We're going to chase them. The acid rain has started. I need to hide under the roof of the bus stop fast. I need to install the new filter to the pipe to rescue the city from the acid rain. I'll do it with Mega Max using the winch. Bad luck. I need to do it better. I hope Handy Andy will install that filter fast to the pipe. Acid rain started and I'm really scared. We cannot find the bandits in this darkness. It seems that we missed them. Come on, I can do it. Emmy, we need to help the police to catch the bandits.
Where could they hide? I see them. They're hiding behind the garbage bin on Pictor Street. I'm going to block them. We've got you guys. Now you're going back to prison together with your boss. Here we go, again to the prison. Andy, Andy, Emmy, thank you so much. You helped us to catch the bandits and rescued the plant. Don't mention it. Oh, what a weekend we had. Oh, Emmy, by the way, we still have time for a picnic. That's great, let's go then. that Razor and Rocco caused the accident in the plant. I see them. They're hiding behind the garbage bin on Pictor Street. I'm going to block them. We've got you guys. Now you're going back to prison together with your boss. Here we go, again to the prison. Hello, my friends. Today, the police officer and I are driving the most dangerous bandits of our city to the police station. Thank you, Handy Andy, for your help. Rocco, Rocco, look what I've got. Wow, you have a pin? We can escape now. What's going on here? Don't panic. Hold on. Look, Rocco, the boss hired someone to help us. Take the bracelets faster. The bandits are going to escape. Take the brakes faster. I can't stop, sir. The brakes are not working in our bus. I can't stop the engine. Brakes, one of the most important things of the safety system. They work like this. When the driver hits the brake pedal, special liquid, which fills the brake line hose, sends the pressure of the pedal to the brakes. At that moment, the brake pad presses the brake disc from both sides and the car stops. If the brake hose breaks, the brake liquid can run away and brakes stop working. If we can't stop the bus, let's go to the roof. We're going to find the way there. Yeah, let's go. Watch out, Handy Andy. The truck driver beat to us. Let's jump out of the car. Oops, here we go. The bus is following us. What should we do? Look, a helicopter. It seems that it came for us. <laughs> Andy, Andy, did you hear? It sounds like a helicopter. Uh, I don't like it. Look, the boss came to rescue us. Here we are, boss. Closer, closer. Boss, we're here. Help us. Oh, the helicopter came to help the bandits. If there's the boss, who's driving the truck? Hurry up, faster. I'm trying to rescue you. Thank you, boss. Oh, I'm going to fall now. Hold on, losers, and stop whining.
So, if we lost Razor and Rocco, we'll catch that mysterious driver for sure. Andy, Andy, there's a railway crossing coming soon. Our brakes aren't working. I hope that the crossing is open and we will not bump into the train. Oh no, the train. We can't stop. Andy, Andy, what are we going to do? Calm down. We have time to pass it. We're going to crash now. I would be happy when my car ran out of gas. Ugh, we were lucky. Sure, lucky. The gas ran out just in time. We lost the bandits. It's not important, Andy Andy. We're safe. We'll catch them later. But the bandits escaped on the helicopter and the mysterious driver went away on the truck. Who was there? Is it a new bandit in their gang? We're going to find out soon. What's going on there, Rocco? How long are we going to be here? Shh, hush. Now the workers will ship the box with the jewelry from the ship to the boat, and then we will steal it. So, be ready. Let's go. Hey, what are you doing here? This is private territory. You came at the wrong time, man. <gasps> Let's leave him here. While the police find out we'll be on a beach drinking cocktails. We need to hurry to the airport to meet the boss. Today is great weather, and I decided to walk to the car shop. Mm. I can hear someone there. Someone tied the worker up. I need to help him. What has happened here? Two bandits stole the boat with a box of jewelry. I had to ship them to the museum, but my boat was stolen. They tied me up. Two bandits? It was Razor and Rocco for sure. They were talking about boss and an airport. Call the police fast. I'm going to chase them on a boat right now. I need to catch them before they leave the city. The patrol speedboat is parked at the harbor. I'm going to use it to catch them. Speedboat. A speed patrol boat of coastal zone. It's the fastest boat that the city police have. If you need to chase bandits by the water, the speedboat will help you. The worker told me that they were talking about the airport, so they went there. For a long time, but I still didn't see the boat with Razor and Rocco. Ah, uh, here they are. Razor, they're chasing us. It's the police. Go faster. Almost got us.
became dark so fast, I can't see anything in front. Stop immediately! Give up! Repeat! Stop immediately! Oops! <laughs> we escaped! I lost them. It's very hard to see in the darkness. Now they will have enough time to escape from the city with the jewelry. Where are the police? Is nobody going to help me? Andy, Andy, over. Disembark fast. It's very dangerous to chase the bandits in such darkness. I can't let the bandits go, sir. Andy, Andy is chasing the bandits in the darkness. I'm going to help him and light his way from the sky. I see them! For sure! Here they are! Go to the left, Rocco! Faster! Or we will crash! The jewelry fell into the water! The boss will kill us! We don't have time, Razor! We need to escape from here! Otherwise, we'll be in a prison again! What's going on there, Handy Andy? There's a hole in my boat from the crash! I'm going under the water! Bandits are going away, but I can't leave Handy Andy alone in trouble. I'm going to help him. Handy Andy, I'm going to throw the ladder to you. The boat is almost under the water, sir. I'm so upset that I couldn't catch Razor and Rocco. Moreover, the box with jewelry is underwater now. Don't worry, Handy Andy. You were risking your life and we appreciate it. The bandits will not fly anywhere without that jewelry. The boss wanted to steal them a long time ago. We need to get them back to the museum from the river. I think that the boss will find a way to steal them again. But now we're going to be ready. Hello my friends, I'm Emmy and this is my friend Handy Andy. It's a great day today. Emmy and I learned how to control the air balloon. It's going to be our first flight today. Beautiful. Look, Emmy, there are some tents over there. I see some backpacks beside the tents. Someone is camping here. But what is the smoke over there in the forest? Andy, Andy, there's a fire in the forest. It's very early morning and the tourists are still sleeping in their tents. We need to call the firefighters now.
Hello? Is this a fire station? The forest which is near the lake is on fire. There's a camp beside it. People can be injured. I've got your message, Handy Andy. We're coming right now. They are almost here. Oh no, the train, wrong time. Handy Andy, the fire is very close to the camp. What should we do? Emmy, the wind is blowing to the forest and we are flying to the fire. It's very dangerous. If we start to go down now, we will land right in the fire. Andy, the road for the fire truck is blocked with the tree. They cannot cross the bridge. What should we do? Calm down, Emmy. I've got an idea. We have the rope, so we're going to fly right over the fallen tree. We will throw the rope down to the firefighters, and they're going to attach it to the tree. We will try to lift the tree to let the fire truck go. Guys! I'm going to throw the rope to you. Attach it to the tree. We will try to lift it up. It's clear. Uh, we're not strong enough to go up. We need to get rid of some cargo. In order to stop the air balloon from going too high from the earth, people hang bags of sand on it. But our friends got into trouble. They need to lift a heavy tree up very urgently to let the fire truck go. To make the air balloon fly higher and lift the tree, we need to throw out the bags that keep it close to the earth. We did it! Now we need to go up! Thank you, guys. It was a great idea with the rope and air balloon. Taurus and a forest could be in a trouble without your help. Now everyone evacuated and the fire is extinguished. That is exactly what can happen when you are not being careful with fire in the forest. Oh yeah, I hope my friends you remember this. You cannot make a fire in a forest without adults. Hello everyone, my name is Handy Andy. The weather is great today. Me and my friend Emmy decided to go for a walk in the city. Hello officer, why are you so sad? What happened? Our new chief of police, Major Gary, is late for work. It's not usual for him. He's always on time. Have you already phoned him? Yes, however, his phone is off. Something probably happened to him. Maybe bandits kidnapped him. <gasps> we don't need to panic. Officer, do you happen to know if Major Gary had some GPS gadgets? We could trace him. Andy Andy, you're a genius. He told us that he had a watch with GPS. Let's go to the station fast to trace his location with maps. GPS. It's a radio receiver that can be built in any smartphone or watch. 
It receives signals from satellites that fly around the Earth. You can easily find the gadget on a special map using this GPS signal beacon. Officer and I found out on the map that the last signal from the Chief's watch was sent from the forest. We've decided to split up. Officer will check the forest from the Earth, and Emmy and I will look for Major Gary from the air on our Mega Max. Is that possible that bandits caught him and took him to the forest? It became so dark, we cannot see anything. How are we going to find Major Gary in the forest in this darkness? Don't get upset, Emmy. We're going to turn on the searchlight and illuminate the terrain. Andy, Andy, over. The rain started and the signal from Chief's watch is gone. I think that his watch ran out of battery. Now I hope only for your help. Andy, Andy, out. Over. We will do the best we can, officer, but we still cannot see anyone. to land it fast, otherwise we will crash. I'm scared, we're going to crash now. Hold on, Emmy, the landing will be very rough. Oh my gosh, let us land safe, let us land. Oh! Ah, it's a pity. We didn't find Major Gary and Megamax needs to be fixed now. What a bad day we have. Help! 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 It doesn't seem a very bad day. Andy Andy, there is someone's scream. It can be Major Gary there. Over, officer. We're in the forest. I think we found Major Gary. He needs help. I think that the bandits are there. Call the reinforcement. Out! Over. It's clear. Out. Major, are you alone? What happened to the bandits? What bandits are you talking about? I'm so happy that you found me, my friends. I thought that I was going to be in this glade forever. But how did you get here? I was driving my jeep from fishing, but it broke as ill luck would have it. While I was trying to repair it, the batteries in my phone and GPS watch died. I wanted to go to the city for help, but didn't know what direction to go. Unfortunately, I don't have a compass with me. You scared us so much, we thought that the bandits kidnapped you. We almost despaired to find you. However, Megamax fell down in a right spot. Oh yes, never give up. Sometimes even for the most difficult case, you will find the solution.